okay. <laughs> So let's get real and honest for just a moment and let me tell you that when I started the paleo diet my biggest fear was that I would have to get rid of a lot of food from my kitchen, from my pantry and from my fridge. And you well know that I love food. I love to make food, to prepare it, I love to cook food, I love to surround myself with food and of course I love to eat food. My friends know about my pomegranate story, sometimes eat in bed at night and so my bed is immaculate and it's covered with white sheets. So one day I opened up a pomegranate and splash pomegranate juice on my beautifully white sheets. Now that is commitment to food and that's why I hate diets. I don't like depriving myself of anything, of any types of food. So when I started the paleo diet I was really afraid that I was going to have to subtract rather than add to my diet. So I did some investigation, some research and did some shopping today. And here in front of me, you'll find things that I shop for. To my right are the foods that are permitted in the paleo diet. To my left are the things that were actually taken from my pantry that I have to get rid of. So what you find here is an abundance of food. And so we know that the paleo diet is primarily made of foods that were found prior to the agricultural revolution. And so here's what we can have. So let's look at it for a moment. So here's a closer look at some of the foods you'll find in the paleo diet. Now these are just some foods that you find, primarily made of meats and seafood and fruits and vegetables as well as fats that you find in nuts and oil. And so here a ton of vegetables, various lettuces, lots of greens and carrots, these bell peppers and of course apples. I love apples, cauliflower, fruits and vegetables including this pineapple, stuff you would find in nature. And if you look at the various meats, red meat, seafood here with salmon and shrimp and eggs and chicken and turkey and you'll find here too some oils that we find from olive oil, coconut oil and almond oil. All these oils and all these fruits and vegetables are not processed, they're entirely natural and so that's another principle in the paleo diet is you don't want anything unnatural processed or have been put through some sort of uh, uh, procedure in order to make it better. So everything as natural as possible for the paleolithic diet. So this is some of the food that I've just bought today and I'm going to have for the remainder of the week. Alright, so here's a closer look at all the items from my pantry that I need to get rid of. And if you notice, all these items have been packaged and have been in my pantry for quite a while, except for this yogurt. So we can't have any dairy products, so that's out. No cereals, and if you look at this spaghetti, no pastas, no beans, no rice. All grains, oats, wheat and barley are out. And these mangoes would be in, but these are filled with sugar, refined sugar. So if you're going to have fruit that's dried, no refined sugars. And of course, mocha powder and lemonade drink mix all have refined sugars and been processed. And if you notice, they're all packaged and have been in my pantry for quite a while. So I'm not sad that they go. So if you really look at this, would you rather have packaged foods in your body? complex carbohydrates, things that's hard to digest, or would you rather have fruits and vegetables and meats and different types of food that are easier to digest? I would say the latter. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with getting rid of this food. So to assist me in this process of figuring out the Paleolithic diet and seeing if it's good for me, I'm calling upon the expertise of Mr. Rob Wolf, who is the author of this New York Times bestseller, The Paleo Solution, The Original Human Diet. Mr. Wolf used to be a research biochemist turned strength coach and owns his own gym and talks all over the country about the Paleolithic diet. So I'm going to try out his 30 day method and so I'm in my first week and after 30 days I'll tell you if the Paleolithic diet is for me and can also work in the real world setting. And so my intent here isn't to historically recreate the Paleolithic era. If it were I wouldn't be making this video or I wouldn't be you know, using all this technology. My intent here is to just look at the diet and see if it's right for my body and it's right for my lifestyle. It's a challenge really because I constantly have to buy fresh and raw vegetables and meats instead of having to rely on packaged items that you can just you know, take from your pantry and cook at any time of the year. So it's a big challenge but a challenge that I'm totally willing to take on so I can find out if this lifestyle, this way of eating, this paleolithic diet is good for me. So stay tuned and I hope that you also will take the time to investigate the paleo diet and see if it works for you. Have a great day.